Lesson 7.2c, writing a verbal description of a two-step inequality. We can write a corresponding real-world word problem for a given inequality. We can use situations or experiences from our everyday lives to think of a suitable word problem. Shopping, doing chores, earning money, making or building something, reading pages of a book, cooking and recipes. Let's take a look at this inequality. This inequality states that two times an unknown amount plus 15 more is less than or the same as 40. The left side of this inequality, 2x plus 15, is equal to 40 or less than 40. The right side, that's the maximum amount it could be. It can only go up to 40. The sum of twice a number and 15 more is no greater than 40. It is less than or equal to 40. If 40 is the maximum amount, we can think of a verbal description for this two-step inequality as 40 is all we have to spend, $40, or $40 is all we have on a gift card. We only have 40 minutes until a movie begins, no more. There's 40 people or less in a room, or there's a 40 pound weight limit. In 2x plus 15 is less than or equal to 40, x is the solution to the problem. x can only be a number that when multiplied by two, then 15 is added to that product that the final amount will be less than or equal to 40. We could write, Tala wants to buy cupcakes that cost $2 each. She also needs to pay her brother $15 that he lent her last week. If Tala has $40, what's the maximum number of cupcakes she could buy? And X would be the number of cupcakes she could buy. This same inequality could be the verbal description, Sam has two pound bags of seeds and a 15 pound bag of soil he wants to put on a shelf. The shelf can hold a maximum of 40 pounds. At most, how many bags of seeds can he put on the shelf? So each bag of seeds is two pounds. He has a 15 pound bag of soil. We can remove the soil weight of 15 pounds from each side of the inequality, that'll eliminate it by subtracting 15, subtracting 15, and now we have two pound bags of seeds is less than or equal to 25. We divide both sides by the two coefficient for the two pounds. We have the same numerator and denominator, which means we have one x, and like I always say, we don't have to write that one, we just write an x for one x. 25 divided by 2 is 12 and 5 tenths. So Sam can put 12 bags of seeds on the shelf or less. He doesn't, he can't put a half a bag. We can check it by putting this 12 back into the original inequality. We have 2 times 12 which is 24. When we add 15 to it we get 39 and that is less than or equal to 40, so that's true. We could even put the 12 and 5 tenths in, and it will be true. Remember to be careful with word problems that when we get the solution, it's telling us to split something up, like the bag of seeds, or a human being, or a live animal. You can't have half of a goat, or half of an elephant, or half of a child. You would have to either round up or down to the next increment to make it whole. We have this inequality, 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 16. We can analyze each part of this inequality mathematically. x is the solution to the problem. 3x is the solution multiplied by 3. Minus 5 means that 5 is subtracted from the product of 3x. 
less than or equal to 16 means that the result of 3x minus 5 can be no greater than 16. Here we have a horizontal number line. We have 16 here. It's telling us that the result of this 3x minus 5 can be no greater than 16. It can't go past this point. So it could be any of these values to the left. The result includes 16, that's why it's a filled in dot, and can be no greater than 16. We can write a verbal description of an inequality that mentions a specific variable. Tala wants to buy a number of cupcakes C that cost $2 each. We know we have to use that letter C as our variable. We'd have $2 times some amount C. If we need to solve a word problem in which a specific variable is given, we must use that specific variable when writing and solving an equation or inequality for that problem. Here we have a 6 centimeter magnet stick, a 9 centimeter, and a 20 centimeter. It's telling us to write an inequality that expresses the reason the lengths of 6 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 20 centimeters cannot be used to make a triangle. We can write 6 centimeters plus 9 centimeters is less than 20 centimeters. See, in order for these three lengths to make a triangle, the sum of the two shorter lengths must be greater than the longest length or the triangle won't be able to close. The definition of a triangle is a three-sided polygon, and polygons are closed figures. If we took this six centimeter triangle and we closed it right here with an angle, and we took this nine centimeter one, they're not long enough to close to make a triangle. And no matter how much we bring this down, it won't close. We can't make a triangle because 6 centimeters plus 9 centimeters is less than 20 centimeters. This left side would have to have a sum greater than 20 in order for that triangle to close. We could even try laying it down and see there's no way that they can meet. They can't reach to make a closed figure to make a triangle. We can express the relationship between two quantities by using an inequality symbol. And the value of x satisfies the relationship x is greater than zero. We can write an inequality to express the relationship between x and one over x. We think we substitute different values for x to see if x is greater than zero remains true for x and one over x. If we think, well, let's try one for x, then that would be saying one is greater than one over one. Well, no, that's not true. One is equal to one. This is the same numerator and denominator, so this is one. One is not greater than one. If we say x is equal to two, then we could say two is greater than one over two. Yes, that makes sense. That is true. So this means that x needs to be greater than one. We could write x is greater than one over x if x is greater than one. That makes sense. We're finished with the last part of 7.2. We're gonna move on to 7.3, which is all about solving two-step inequalities. In the first part, we're gonna be modeling and solving two-step inequalities in 7.3a. I hope this lesson was helpful, and I hope that it really helped you understand inequalities. Have a great day, and join me for the next lesson. Bye.